And there's a well-known account of an old Inuit man who refused to move into a settlement over the objections of his family. He made plans to stay on the ice. To stop him, they took away all of his tools. So in the midst of a winter gale, he stepped out of their igloo, defecated, and honed the feces into a frozen blade, which he sharpened with a spray of saliva. With the knife, he killed a dog, using its rib cage as a sled and its hide to harness another dog, he disappeared into the darkness. Wade Davis, Shadows in the Sun. All right, so this story about a man using his own frozen feces to make a functioning knife that he then used to butcher a dog and escape uh, house arrest by his family, essentially, uh, has prompted no less than seven archaeologists from Kent State University in Ohio to conduct a series of experiments to, I guess, verify if this story is even possible. And the result of all of that work uh, was this paper here, which in the archaeology community is known as Poop Knife. This is one of my personal favorite peer-reviewed uh, studies because... As an archaeologist, I know damn well that this started out as a, probably an argument in a bar that then turned into a joke that got away from itself. The deadpan delivery of Section 2, the methods section, is one of my favorite reads ever because it's taking what is obvious, obviously nonsense and treating it absurdly, absurdly seriously. So... Uh, in order to ensure that the consistency of the feces was correct, uh, the lead author went on an Arctic-style diet, which emphasizes uh, proteins and fatty acids. And after eight days on this diet, well, after four days on this diet, he started collecting and saving his own feces. Uh, and made several knives using two different methods. Some of the feces he would pack into a ceramic knife-shaped mold, and others he would form into knife shapes by hand. Uh, these were then stored and frozen at negative 20 degrees C, and then immediately before their use on, uh, I believe it was some pig remains trying to cut through the skin through musculature through the tendons etc they were taken out of the freezer and sharpened with with metal files and then submerged in dry ice at negative 50 degrees c to refreeze them now as the title may have tipped you off this does not work because the friction produced when trying to cut into this animal melts the edge of the shit knife so it like this entire thing was nothing more than an urban legend and probably reflects a group of uh, or a particular inuit having some fun with some white dude who came up to to talk to them uh in the in the arctic but this entire thing went so far that it got presented at the uh, Society of American Archaeology conference in Albuquerque in 2019. I recommend giving it a read because it is hilarious. That's really all I have to say about it. <laughs> 